I'm Jenna Kim Jones with your Clear Play Movie Review. This week, we're doing A Thousand Words, starring Eddie Murphy and Kerry Washington. A thousand words? Really? How about one? Why? Now, I always thought maybe Eddie Murphy could use a little brevity, but I was wrong. I was very wrong. Plus, I hate charades. Here's a quick synopsis of the movie. Eddie Murphy plays this guy Jack McCall, who's an arrogant, selfish book agent trying to land a deal with this New Age guru. New Age guru wants to teach a lesson. Eddie Murphy ends up connected to this tree. With every word he speaks, a leaf falls off the tree. All the leaves fall off. He's toast. Eddie Murphy's got to change his life. Does he do it? I don't know. You'll have to see the movie. Basically, it's not the worst plot I've ever seen. Trust me. I saw the Transporter movies. I saw Seventeen again. You really think Zac Efron would turn into Matthew Perry? That is blasphemous. I saw In Time. Justin Timberlake, stop acting. I mean, I saw Geely. Psych! No one saw Geely. If there's anyone to blame for this tragedy of a movie, it's Nicolas Cage. He produced it. Clearly, all of the famous people in this movie lost a bet to him because there is no way they'd be in it otherwise. Fortunately, there is a clear play filter for unnecessary swearing, so don't forget to set it for vulgarity and blasphemy if that's not your thing. Unfortunately, there is no filter for overacting. So that's it. I'm Jenna Kim Jones. And remember to clear play it and never bet against Cage. Here's the deal. I slept on it and I came up with some movies that are similar to A Thousand Words that I like better. Family Man. Think of it as a way for Nicolas Cage to make up for this last one. Ghost Town. Ghost Town is a great movie for the whole family. There is a little bit of swearing, so I recommend turning on your clear play filter for that. But otherwise, it's a great movie. 